Well, Coleman, transfer from Arizona, uh, has done a nice job for Boise State. And another two points for Kylie Shook. McGuire's going to go out, and this is why. You can't, you got to give help down there on Shook. You got a lot of the starters back from a team that went to the NCAA tournament last year again. There's Shook up and under. Kylie Goon really fighting to get that cross screen, which sets up Shook inside. Yeah, they're making a concerted effort. And Kylie Shook hits it and will go to the free throw line. Floor, and she is a head and shoulders taller than any player on Miami's floor right now. It's a great job. Banks, who drives against Shook. Kylie Shook is the best shot blocker in the ACC. These are two teams who want to push the ball down the court. They want to play a fast-paced game. And what Jeff Wall said, one of the keys to their game is stopping them in the transition as Dana Evans with an open three. Acted up with his presence. Well, and you mentioned how he trained some players. He actually worked with a uh, commit, a McDonald's All-American, Haley Van Lith, who's coming here to Louisville. A ranked team in Florida State, the lone meeting against the Seminoles, which could help the turn of the ACC. Another turnover for the Irish. They've got Syracuse, who's played some teams tough this year, including mm -hmm. upsetting Florida State. Blocking foul, Evans puts it in. You're Back talking about four or five teams ranked top 10, top 15. So perhaps a shift and a slightly down here for the ACC, but I still think the athletes are there. Against the zone, once again, three and a half to play in the first. This matchup zone, it, it is difficult to get shots off. We used to run a nice rebound there from Kylie Shook. That is exactly what they needed. Start to fall. See off the offensive glass here. Kylie Shook reading that rebound right. The weak side where Syracuse has been hurting them on the other end. Walker trying to make something happen, and there was just nothing but black jerseys there. Good defense by Dana Evans. Hands straight up, not to foul. Anthony Walker, the leading scorer on this team. That is the first three for Notre Dame today. They're not known for their three-point shooting other than Brunel and Walker. But Balagoon has really found that sweet spot. It'll be an interesting matchup to watch on the interior. Kubai against Kylie Shook. Shook with the height advantage. That is a shot blocker. Three. Shot clock at five. Shook calling for the basketball. There's the layup and the double double. And then here's that breakdown with a few seconds winding down on the shot. Jackets were hoping to make history tonight with their first ever win against Louisville. Wide open Shook. End of the shot clock. Mentioned in coming off of that big game on senior night. This is a big lineup for Boston College, which should help them on the glass and with their link. There's a much smaller back, it's on her back. Oh, what a matchup there with Soul and Jasmine Jones, two incredibly athletic players. Another turnover, Shook takes it down the floor, hits it! Cardinals trying to get that outright regular season title. Now we'll take you to the studio for halftime. Played Georgia this year. She is a transfer from Georgia, led the SEC in assists last year. And it was kind of emotional for her to play Georgia. So we'll see how she handles that as she just had a shot blocked by Kylie Shook. Kylie Shook, the best shot blocker in the history of this program. And zero points. And credit Louisville's defense. They have been excellent so far. Kylie Shook, she can stretch the defense. She's a threat to shoot it for the game, but then once it was time to ball. Out, jumped, Evans, Balagoon! Wow, what a block. Balagoon with those long arms. Shook had the height advantage over Cole and took advantage. Have an opportunity because they can score. Shook will look for three and knock that down. First basket for Louisville. the deflection back out to Shook for another three good Jones one for six in the first half but they'd like to get her going in the second Kylie Shook is back out there after limited minutes with two quick fouls in the first half there's a typically not a threat offensively but she needs to to get a third foul on Shook and Shook with high hands on that trap gets the deflection already forced a couple of turnovers and Jones gets a shot